We'll guide you through how to smooth edges and remove roughness in Photoshop. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Blurry or jagged edges can make something look really bad in Photoshop. So here's how you can go and fix it. So in this case, this is quite blurry. So first of all, come over to layers in Photoshop and either if you're on a Windows, hold control or command on a Mac and go and click on it like so, and it will then go and select it. Then what you need to do is go and click on channels just like so. And then in here, you need to go to the bottom and go and click on save selection as channel like so. And you've now got this layer here, go and click on it. Then what you want to do is go and deselect it by pressing control D like so. And what you then want to do is go to the top, click on filter and go down to blur and go and click on Gaussian blur like so. Now, if you've got a really jagged shape, then you may need to go and increase this more. But in my case, it's not that jagged, so I don't need to have it too much. So I'm gonna keep it pretty low like so, about 0.8, and I'll then go and click OK. Next, we need to go to the top and go and click on Image, and go and click on Adjustments, and click on Levels, just like so. Now, what we need to do is go and start adjusting these here. So you've got these two different points, and what you wanna do is start adjusting these and go and see what makes it look better. As you can see, when I go and drag this down, it improves, but have a play with it and see how you go and make it look the best. I'm quite happy with that there, so I'll then go and click OK. Now what we need to do is you need to go back to the channels section on the right here, hold control or command, so it's selected like this, and then go and click on layers. And then what you need to do is go and click on the new layer button in the bottom right like so. And then what you wanna do is go and fill this. There are a few different ways you can do this, but I just go and grab the paintbrush. I go and max out the size like so, and I'll then just go and fill it in like so. And then if we go and compare this, this is the new one compared to the old one, as you can see, the new one is much clearer and smoother. 